In smaller organizations, a single key stakeholder often handles all approvals and ensures alignment with the company's vision. However, as companies expand, this approach can lead to bottlenecks. I'm Pierre Sinclair, and today I'm going to take you through a system called Cross Approvals, which helps scale approvals as the company grows. Cross Approvals involve distributing authority to several subject matter experts instead of only the original approver. Let's look at a bad example. In this case, there's a sole approver of everything. A better example might look like this. There's eight people and any two of them can approve. There's several benefits to cross approvals. Firstly, there's significant time savings for the original approver. Secondly, there's fewer bottlenecks for individuals seeking approval. And thirdly, you get consistent, high quality approvals that maintain alignment. There's five key steps to developing a streamlined cross approval system. Firstly, you want to identify problem areas. First pinpoint tasks that are causing approval delays, creating what's known as approval hell. For instance, approval delays might occur in processes like induction completion. The second step is to assign trusted experts. Build a list of subject matter experts who can handle approvals in their respective areas. These experts will be responsible for the approvals and each should be assigned a priority. The original approver should have the lowest priority to minimize their involvement. The third step is to classify task importance. The more important a task is, the more approvers you might need. For example, for a typo, you might just use a spell checker and have no approvers at all. On the other hand, a company-wide email impacts a lot of people, so you might have two approvers. The fourth step is to implement the system. You want to induct the new approvers by having them shadow the original approver to understand the process. Then you can document these new approvers in a central repository so everyone knows where they are. The Microsoft Teams Approvals app is a fantastic way to ensure approvals happen in a consistent manner. The fifth step is to monitor approvals. Create a report which tracks the number of approvals each employee is handling. That way, if someone is doing too many approvals, you can reallocate some of their responsibilities to ensure they don't become a bottleneck. Once the system is in place, you also need to watch out for when issues arise. Approvers should make sure to have a call if they disagree. If they can't resolve it in the call, a third approver should mediate. And if there's still disagreement, then you bring in the original approver and they can make an executive call. Once the company decides to adopt cross approvals, the goal is to use it in as many places as possible. So communicate the new process and encourage employees to suggest areas for implementation. We have a rule on this and I'd love to hear feedback down in the comments below. In conclusion, cross approvals offer a powerful solution to the challenge of approval bottlenecks in growing companies. This approach helps companies save time, improve efficiency, and ensure consistent decision-making. This is Pierce Sinclair, signing off from SSW TV.